Hey guys, Brad here with Skyline Construction. Today we're going to be taking another look at the DeWalt Atomic Saw. In the past we did a review on this saw, a more in-depth review than what this will be, but uh, we're going to mainly focus on the dust collection of this. We've had a lot of questions and uh, followers talking about this saw and we never really showed the dust collection last time. So we're going to hook a vacuum up to it, cut some MDF and get a better idea of what this thing can do. We have been using this saw a lot over the last, I don't know, four months, I think. Um, and we're still really happy with it. It, at first it takes a little bit of time to get used to it just cause it is a longer saw. Um, but you, I think we really started to enjoy it. You know, it's, it's just lighter, smaller than a skill saw. Um, it doesn't have as much power, but it still does the same kind of cut. And like I said before, it's easy to just kind of hook on your, on your belt. So still really happy with the saw four months later and probably about, I don't know, 50 hours roughly of cutting between all the guys. Um, so yeah, super happy with it. So what we're going to do today is we're going to cut some MDF. I figured MDF is the, the best sort of wood or non wood to, to cut just because of the amount of sawdust it produces. Um, we all know this stuff is brutal to breathe in and uh, why not demonstrate this with a, with a HEPA vac and a couple mock-ups here. So we're going to cut two ways. First will just be a regular cut and I'll show you the, the dust coming out of this bad boy and then we'll do it with the vacuum and then I want to show you what the difference is when you cut on top of styrofoam. Um, we always cut on top of styrofoam when we're using our track saws. So why not use it when you're cutting with a regular saw? It prevents the sawdust from kicking out the bottom and this way you get a little bit more dust collection. Okay, so let's start off by just doing a couple regular cuts here and you'll be able to see the dust blasting out of this port right here as well as the bottom and, and everything. Oh yeah, and I better put my glasses on too. So the saw isn't very loud. So I can keep my ears out, um, but glasses, you got to have them. So I'll just do some quick cuts here so you can see how much dust we're doing. So now we'll hook up the vacuum and I'll show you the difference. So with the vacuum port, this has the DeWalt quick connect on it. I just don't have my DeWalt vacuum here. The Fest tool fits in really nice. It's, you know, it's in there pretty good. So I'm happy with it. This, however, they could make this clip on a little better. I think over time, this plastic might start to wear out and then you're going to have issues. So it would have been nice if there was some sort of pin or I don't know, some kind of snap ring or something like that, that holds this in just a little bit better. Or maybe even this is on a fixed position and it just, they allow it to, to pivot. I don't know. Just a thought. So we'll turn on the vacuum. So a huge difference, as you can tell, um, you know, if you're cutting concrete board, this would be perfect. The saw will cut concrete board. If you're cutting a lot of plywood rips or, or you're just set up at a station, this is when you use a vacuum. You're definitely not going to be hooking up to a vacuum if you're, you know, framing or up in a roof or something like that. It's just doesn't make sense. Um, but in this kind of situation, if you're set up on a table, a cut station, 
and this is your go-to saw, then I would definitely suggest using a vacuum. So now we're gonna cut on top of styrofoam and you'll just see the, the difference where the sawdust doesn't kick up underneath the bottom. It just kind of holds it down and the vacuum will catch it all. So first I'll do it without the vacuum. So a huge difference there, as you can see, cutting on top of styrofoam, the sawdust doesn't kick up, it just stays within the unit and then is sucked out with your vacuum. So um, if you are set up like this, use styrofoam, it really helps, just keeps it all in there. Um, now I don't have other materials to cut today, but uh, I thought MDF, like I said, is the best to sort of demonstrate that, that big cloud of dust that we create when we're cutting. Uh, plywood is, is bad too, but MDF is, you know, the crappiest dust you can be breathing in. So there we go. All right, guys, I think that is it. It's just a quick review on that. Um, hope that helps anyone who had any questions about this little dust port for this atomic brushless 20 volt max saw. Okay, guys, I'm Brad with Skyline Construction. Hope you enjoyed this review. Check out our other ones. Give us a like, subscribe. See you later. Have a great day.